Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with a quick tutorial. This is how to stop your images from moving. So let's go ahead and import an image here. Go into my uh, pictures folder, grabbing a JPEG or a PNG or whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and import this image into iMovie. And first thing is you're going to notice that once you import it, it's in your library there. It's in your, your bin of media files. Then you drag it into the timeline. And always it's going to have the Ken Burns effect on it. So the image is going to move when you when you push play on the playhead. You see it's, it's moving. So first thing you do is you go up to those those little things up there at the top and the cropping tool and hit fit. You can either hit fit but you're going to have black bars. Or the other option is to hit it again and, and um, crop to fill which is a better option. And if the more you crop into it, the, the it kind of blows up the image. So you got to be a little bit careful, might depending on the resolution of your image. But basically, crop it to a good, you know, good good size and location where you want it to be, and then from that point you'll be good to go. The reason, as I mentioned earlier, why it it moves is because it, it throws it in this Ken Burns effect, which is I'm setting up right here. You see, it kind of moves it. So it automatically throws it into Ken Burns, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's just a thing. So what I usually do is the crop to fill and, you know, try to set up the presentation of the image the best possible. And then from there, you have yourself an image that does not move. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Links in the description to support and all that jazz. We'll talk to you soon. Peace and aloha.